Happy Easter, everybody. It's Roll We One. I'm out here in Oxford, Mass. I figured I'd do a reconnaissance today and see what type of Oak Leaks and Freemasons and early settlers are here out here in Oxford, Massachusetts. I don't know the name of this cemetery. I'm sure it's somewhere on here, and if you Google it too, I didn't even Google it. I'm just freelancing it today. Let's see what, what the names are. Started out with a Foster. I had a buddy named Gabe Foster. What's up, Gabe? If you're out there, leave a bump into my video. Look at this one. This is an interesting old bleak. Corbin. There's a Corbin in there. I wonder if there's any Freemason symbols over here. Let's get some kind of wreath on the oblique. Is that olive leaves? Oh, okay, here it is. This thing's got the step. Yeah, it's Corbin. See the leaves up there around the oblique? This is an octo oblique too. What kind of symbolism does he got? Huh. Almost looks like a scallop dragon tail. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's in the corners, sometimes you see something. It's got the step notch in it too. I wonder what, we're gonna find out eventually what each oblique symbolizes. Creta, Chapman. Chapman lives right over there, one of the Chapmans I know. Six years old. So far, it was the early 1800s. Last time I've been over here is in a long time. I drive by it a lot. Adams, Upham. It's an oblique way in the corner. This one's loaded with them. I'll probably do like half of this for today. There's a shorty oblique in the distance. Military. The military's been around. Another Foster. Wow, I didn't realize how many Fosters were out here. Assholes at one point used to come around here grave tipping. We used to do a lot of stupid stuff when we were kids. I didn't do this, but I, I, I know people who did it. I would never do that. But even the stuff we did when we were kids, rope swings, jumping our bikes off Buffum's Dam. Kids today don't do this crap. I'm lucky I'm here. <clears throat> Aldridge. This is a big daddy. Edward Aldridge, 1806-1875. This one's got to be at least 10 feet. At least. <laughs> I wonder if we'll find any mezzos over here. Look at that thing. That's pretty cool. We'll look at that in a second. Some trees. Mary Sigourney. Oops, excuse me. Town in Sigourney. Wallace. Getting a little earlier. There's some more oldies. The trees. Louisa. These are all AEs too. A little symbolism on there with some stars. Each one of them has something different. Rue 
booth. Strange name, huh? He even named himself after the craft. That's pretty interesting. Look at this one. Look at the top of this. Oh, it has like cuts in it. You see them? That's something different that we haven't seen yet. Inman. You know, these stones, when they first made them, must have glowed like the pyramids in Egypt. Because they were white stone, too. Massive trees, like you always see in an early graveyard. Henry Franklin. This one's been refurbished, at least partially. Unless that just held out that good after all these years. Which I doubt. Some Henry's. Alina's. Watson. It's funny, I've known a lot of people with these different last names. Bacon, oh, another tipped one, 1883, cool, that's sad that someone would do that, pain, Reverend Benjamin Payne. So, was this Reverend possibly a Mason? He's got the AEs too. Only the Masons seem to have the AEs. Bufflers. something early 1800s pretty interesting in here now that you come in here damn a lot of busted ones in here look at this someone tried to actually get in this thing wow that's crazy can you get a peek in there were the early settlers in Oxford, supposedly after the Indians, in the in-betweeners. They ran for the stronghold. John Hurd, born 1773. You know, this thing's got the A.E. on it. Funny how it looks rusty. That goes into... Roger's theory of mud, fo mud fossils that the rocks and stones were from old frozen dragons and that's why there's like it's blood it looks like blood I'm not no DNA tester I'm just using his theory this one too it's got an odd color to it Davis there's a Davis that live right over here ones hold out the best right there you see that pewter one ride my mountain bike across this whole thing it's pretty fun into that stuff 
I can do videos on my mountain biking and BMX I do but not the mountain biking too much some of my training I keep confidential because I like to train all right let's see look at all these ones early 18s this is Susanna Alice Sounds familiar, like I've read that. Wow, are these? This had to have been done. Yeah, this has been done, done over. They came up here and cleaned this up seven ways to Sunday. Look at Israel, Pauline, wife of Israel. Looking good. Whoever cleaned this, it's gonna cost some money. Look at this one. Sibley figures. It's got the roses right on it. And it's got the fascist thing. Is that what that is? And wisely did she counsel and direct Israel Sibley Sutton, April 11, 79, Oxford, March 28, 1886. By kindness, diligence, and perseverance, he won success in many friends. Terza Daly, Davis Sibley, Oxford, May 5, 1796, Oxford, June 16, 1885. Home and her loved ones constant care and wisely did she counsel and direct dear parents with a reverent hand this is to your memory given a one by well one by one a household band God reunites in heaven wow. what's that at the top represent you see that the shroudery cape Terza, I've heard that in the Bible, that name somewhere. There's some leaves too. That wreath is pretty interesting. There's a little symbols on the pillars too. Some of them well made. Must have been a sailor. Davis killed it a different way. It's over here. Hopefully everyone's enjoying their day. I'm gonna end it at this note. Do this half for the moment. We're gonna come back another day. Rule we won the Indiana Jones wrap. Have a nice day.